Hey there. I'm going to show you how a tool called Parameter Link works. Parameter Link is part of our Rio toolbox. We built it on a project to be able to copy uh, parameter values from elements between uh, Revit links, basically. In this uh, case, I'm going to dive straight into it and open my Revit model. This is an architectural model, and then fire consultants have modeled fire rating containing elements in their Revit file, and then we've linked that Revit file into our architectural model. The fire rating containers are the red elements that you see there. have been placed on every single door in this uh, plan. And what I want to do is I want to copy the fire rating parameter here to my door elements in the architectural model, which is here. Fire rating, blank. I can check that also quickly by using color parameters and see that all the doors on this plan, 41 doors, have all blank fire rating parameters. Parameter link uh, is grouped together with night vision, uh, our combined tools for making a workflow like this work. Um, you start by setting up a settings file. If there's no settings file to find, you just go browse new and then create a new settings file by typing a name here. I've already created one. Um, the next thing you got to do is you got to click plus down here on the tasks. You can set up a sequence of tasks and copy multiple parameters between multiple uh, combinations of categories. Um, the settings briefly explained this. You copy from one category to another one. You select the link that you want to copy from, and you can uh, either use the link name or the uh, instance uh, name parameter of the link. You set a tolerance. This is basically the three-dimensional distance between elements. Uh, in this case, doors. Doors have an insertion point uh, in both one file and the other. Uh, this also takes into account uh, transformations like links using different shared coordinate systems as long as they are in the same place within 250 millimeter distance in this case. Um, the application is going to try to match one and one and one and one, which means that it won't group all the door elements in the link that's within 250 millimeters. It, it will always take the closest one and then ignore everything that's further away from this tolerance. It will skip model in place, in place models. Um, it will blank non-matching parameters in this case. You can use uh, settings called nudge instances if you have elements that are really, really close to each, each other. Uh, that may cause difficulties sometimes. And then I can also choose if I want to check for type parameters. In, the, in, in, in a case, for instance, where the fire rating in the fire consultants file uh, is a type parameter, this can be handy to have uh, ticked on. And then the task also contains the list of parameters you want to copy from and to. And this, of course, can be expanded. You can copy multiple parameters from one element to another. Once this is set up, um, all you got to do is save. This saves this settings in the schema in the file, but also externally in the JSON file, which is handy if you want to script this process during night with Revit Batch Processor. Uh, there, this supports uh, that process, but we're not going to do that now. Just run the application, run, boom, boom, boom. It runs through 40 parameters um, in this case. And I'm going to use quickly color parameters again to check for the fire rating parameter on my, on my doors and then see that they all got filled up, actually, except two in this case that are probably because they are too far away from, uh, from the uh, containing element. So this is how parameter link works, very easily explained. There's uh, things that we can do on automation, like you, this process can run uh, overnight, for instance. Um, it can run on multiple links. It can run on multiple parameters and multiple categories. Um, but I hope this takes you uh, through the first steps. Thank you.